Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorov from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business. Today I want to present you a package which I found recently, which I found out uh, from Matt Stauffer himself during Laravel Live UK conference, uh, which is still in alpha stage. It's a package by his company Titan Co., uh, but it's really interesting, the concept, so I want to show you that. Uh, for example, if you want to have a user inheritance, like you have user um, user types like managers, admins, uh, employees, whatever, and you want to store them all in users table, but at the same time you don't want to uh, store them as user types, you want to have each of them as its own class. So for example admin class will uh, do some extra action, manager class will have some more uh, more settings or something like that. So it uh, it's installed just like that and I want to show you in my PHP Storm what it does actually. So to use that uh, after the install you need to add a column called type as a string in your users table which is like default Laravel users table with that uh, field. Also don't forget if you use fillables like I do uh, don't forget to add the fillable type in there and then you can uh, create models like this one. So admin model as a separate model which extends user not model not eloquent uh, extends user and also uses that trait and similar manager. That's it. Th these are all the classes. Those are empty, but they use they both use trait has parent model. Finally, in your user table, you need to add another trait, which is returns child models and use it here in user. And basically, that's it. From there, you can add uh, admins and managers as separate entities. And I've tried exactly that. So in my controller, I'm creating an admin, not a user. That's the the key point here. Not user create, but admin create as a separate class, and then manager create as a separate class. So I'm doing a lot of random, str random things, uh, and then I want to view all the admins, but only admins. So uh, keep in mind, I don't do any queries by user type or user ID or anything like that. I'm creating one admin, one manager, and I want to then uh, see all admins. In our database, uh, here's our current situation. So I have one admin which is unrelated. That's, I've built that by our quick admin panel. And the type is null. And if we launch that page, that's the controller that I have. This is the result. So one result, one admin. It created admin and manager but it shows one admin and in the database if you can see there are two entries one admin and one manager and the package does the filtering by class name so column type gets the value of class name which in my case it's app admin or app manager and it's basically doing global scope on that uh, value actually we can take a look uh, in here so if you click here there is a global scope uh, on where where field. Basically, a lot of magic here. You can take a look uh, deeper, but that's the concept I wanted to show. Uh, if you wanna, emails coming. Uh... Okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's the beauty of live coding or live videos. Uh, anyway, so here's the concept of a package. You can try to use it. Uh, it's usable already. It's pretty simple for now. Maybe the guys will be updating that and uh, issue the update. So subscribe to the package, start. Uh, and what do you think about that concept? Uh, do you like it? Or maybe you are more a fan of filtering by type ID and then doing global scope of uh, where type ID equals something? Let me know in the comments and I hope to see uh, to see more packages coming to Laravel ecosystem, which I can review, show, and you will use it. So see you guys in the next videos.